Hello and welcome to episode 4 of our Queer and Polyam Colony on RimWorld, Royalty and Ideology DLC Modded. Let's go see how our new colony is doing. So we had a lot happen last episode. The most sad thing was the breakup. Rose and M are no longer a couple. They are single again, which is very disappointing. Um, Rose has definitely been in, in a very bad mood. She tried to propose and M was like, no, I'm not ready for that. We've literally been on this planet for like a week. <laughs> I'm not ready to get married, um, and that ended the relationship, unfortunately. But we have also had some exciting things happen as well. We have our new member, Blitz, who may be coming out to us this episode, so we'll find out what he has to say. And we also have our very first visitors, which include um, some of our siblings, because we had three sibling groups that were part of our uh, original setup in the first episode. You can find out more about the three different groups. There was a gem group, a flower group, and a musical group. So we have Nita, who's short for Juanita, uh, who is part of the flower group. She's Rose's sister. And somewhere around here, we also have Garnet who obviously is one of the gem siblings, along with M, which is short for Emerald, and the other two siblings, Peridot and Pearl. So it's it'll be neat to see them in our world, and we're going to, um, you know, make sure that we entertain them and they have a good time so that they keep coming back, and then eventually, hopefully, we can recruit them into our colony as well. Another exciting part of our last episode was getting our water system all set up. It's already getting cold as we head to the end of summer. It's only 12 degrees out, so not too far above freezing. So we need to hurry up and get this water system built and get some hot water tanks and stuff included as well so that we can heat our base. While Jewel is over here, I'm going to have her attack this ruined tank. That's the only way to destroy it so that um, we can have our hygiene pipes continue on through. And I think I'll get M to help as well. So it won't take forever and a day. Maybe after that she can hunt this mega sloth. That'll get us lots of meat for the winter. It's almost rhythmic. I've been like bopping my head along to the, the rhythm of the gunshots. <laughs> What's it called? The polyrhythm? When you have one going a certain beat and the other going another? Almost done. There we go. We've destroyed the tank. You guys can go on your way. We've got some steel slag chunks and we can continue our plumbing. Thanks guys. Oh no! Oh shoot! They didn't have a good visit! I mean, our base is pretty basic and chilly, but let's see if there's any specific problems. Um, led by a soilist? Oh, because you're part of that pact, but you belong to our ideologian. Well, that's not our fault at all. Nothing we could do there. Uh, mediocre barrack, yep, slept in the cold. That sucks. Uh, we did give her food because she didn't really bring enough silver um, and wouldn't trade this fur, so we had to just gift her the food. Uh, where's Garnet? Let's see if he has any specific complaints. How was your stay, Garnet? Uh, you're also not happy about your leader and also not happy about the cold. Okay, let's just make sure that we get our base um, heated up very soon. I've already turned off the air conditioners because it's already getting close to zero. Wow, we are really far north on this map. And of course now we're having a hot summer day at the end of summer. 26 degrees. That's like really warm. Um, I don't think we need to put the AC on though because our freezer is kind of keeping things a bit cool. Uh, we did create an airlock, we've just got to finish it up here. Ooh, 
neat. We already have a Goron Len pod sprout. So this is a cool thing where you can have a tree and then you have these little um, creatures, dryads, that will do different things. So they could haul for you or fight for you. So we want to harvest it, not cut it and plant it closer to our base. Uh-oh, Black Bear is hunting M. Wow, interesting. Um, usually they hunt your animals, but I guess these creatures are, are really predators. Um, that's okay, M. I think you need to go hunting about now anyways, and you're the perfect spot to kind of get it within range. All right. She's got this. We may need to call Lyric in for help with her revolver, but let's see how it goes. Oh, that's right. It's not like threatening. It's just hunting us, so we won't automatically fight it. We need to specifically tell him. Hey, um, you want to fire at this bear? It's going to come and eat you. Let's get Lyric involved to help. We don't want him getting hurt. Yeah, and I don't know. Okay, run and gun will work now that we've said fire. Oh gosh, be careful. Ah! They have their pathing that they have to kind of run and go a certain way, and that hasn't worked well. Oh, okay, now it's mad. Ooh. All right, be careful, guys. All right. Em, I think I'm going to get you to keep on moving. Ah! Yeah, glad I got Lyric to help. How badly are you hurt? Ten hours. Oh, man. Yeah, these guys are so aggressive. A big bear bite on your leg. Oh! Okay, let's get you patched up. Uh, we've been using this as a bedroom instead of a med bay. Which one's cleaner? Clean, zero. Yeah, let's use this. Okay, Blitz is going to patch you up, M. He's an even better doctor than you. And I hope that it doesn't leave too huge of a scar. Especially on your head. Uh, where are you going, Blitz? Okay, you're just getting more meds. Okay, this one only needs herbal meds. Hope the quality is good. Good, okay. Good quality. I hope these heal okay might leave a scar. Also, our nose is shattered. Ouch. I don't think that will heal. Yikes. Em, you have no nose. How are you going to smell things? Uh, at least we're going to have bear meat for our meals. Now we have a cougar hunting blitz. These animals, oh my goodness. They're gonna give me lots of trouble. And I'm keeping an eye out for them too and setting them to be hunted. However, since M is our primary hunter, um, she was down and out for the count so she couldn't hunt these predators for a while. Blitz does not have a weapon because um, we don't have enough. So we better make him at least a bow in the future. For now though, I'm going to call M and Lyric to his rescue. And Blitz, why don't you haul this rice so that you're heading away? Oh, although, are you going to be going that way or are you going to come down this way? I bet you will go the wrong way. Ooh. Yeah, I think you will. Okay, we'll have him go inside uh, and hope that that deters the cougar. Because it's not maddened. It's not a mad hunter. It's just hunting him at this point. So, we set M. Actually, we can actually just tell you to hunt it. And since it's not maddened, it won't come for you. And that should be okay. They get mad though. Uh, Lyric is on her way to help, so we'll keep that in mind. And let's move M like out of the way, because right now you're too close. Oh, oh, she's being attacked now. Okay, I guess it was hungry and it was bound to attack somebody. 
if not blitz, then M. That's how that works. That sucks. Okay, be careful, M. You're going to be hurt again. Oh my gosh. She got a shot off at least. Now it's slow. Okay, good job, M. We're awesome at this. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, your poor nose. Everything else healed, but your nose was still sore. So I'm really glad that that um, didn't go worse than it did. Uh, M went hunting, and now there's Blackbeard that's mad at her. At least she's much farther away than she was to the cougar. There are a lot of predatory animals in the forest. And there's these huge marshes too, which makes it hard for the uh, colonists to get around. Sometimes there's only one way they can go, like squeezing through a little space that the pathing algorithm tells them to go through. Phew! All right, that went okay. We'll just get her to do a lot of hunting anytime there's a predator. Actually, my manager desk is ready. I'm going to set some hunting so that anytime there are predators anywhere on the map, we get them. Any amount. It doesn't matter if we have 3,000 meat sitting in our freezer. We are going to go and attack those animals. We have a quest available. Oh, it's a monument. Let's see how big it is. Not too big. Okay, five by three. That's fairly small. And we can get some honor or glitter world medicine. Hmm, I don't know if we have any. We don't. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's do it. It's so tiny. Well, Lyric has done a lot of sewing and she's not great at it. Um, but she can keep practicing. At least we're doing lots of hunting to try to get ready for the winter, which means we have tons of meat and we'll have lots of leather for her to practice on. Okay, now that there's another shirt option, I want to try to figure out this wearing male apparel thing. Um, I suspect it's probably the tunic? Could be the formal vest? It doesn't say, like there's not anything on the label. Let's try the vest and then we'll see if it's the tunic, if that's, if it's not the vest. Okay, let's see. No, she's still wearing male apparel. Let's try the tunic. Yeah, okay, it was the tunic. That is so strange. Um, now you're not really wearing much of anything except your lab coat and pants. Um, not a great choice, especially since it's getting chilly. So we'll put a shirt on, and then you can keep the nice vest. Oh, um, I guess they were both for men. Now that she's put that back on, she's got it back. So I think you can keep the shirt, but not the vest. That's unfortunate. We have another visitor. Also, we have some muffalos on the map. Uliana, Uliana Mahoney. That's a cool name. Tell me about yourself. Ooh, from the Dominion of God, you're 93. You have a chemical interest. You're healthy. You have no food, so we better trade with you. Although we have money. 
go shop for food. Yes, awesome. Okay, she's checking it out. All right, she's got some food. She's deciding to go to sleep first. But she bought three meals so she can eat them in the morning. She can eat them when she wakes up. Okay, Blitz has been waiting for this moment when the colonists are just hanging out by the fire. He decided to put on the male cloth tunic and panthera for formal vest, even though he thinks it's very stupid. He agrees with Rose. It's really stupid that there is male clothing. Oh, and he's learning her opinions on fashion. How cool is that? And he's bringing up a topic. Oh my god, this is so cool. Okay. Wait, Rose, wait. Bliss has something to tell you. Bliss would really like to tell you that now that he's seen how open and accepting everyone is here in the queer and polyam colony, he would like to come out as NB, non-binary. And Bliss would like to use they, them pronouns if that's okay with everyone else. And of course it is because this is the most awesome place ever. We have a quest available, Chef's Travelers. Oh, it's a charity quest. And it's Refugees. Okay, their name is Chef, but it has nothing to do with Chef. Cool, okay. So they need three beds. Let's make sure we have space for them. Let's try to get this third bedroom fixed up a little bit better. And then we can put them in this room. And actually, since this room is connected to Rose's room, I'm gonna have her put this wall here for the night so that she's got a nicer space. Instead of awful, it's mediocre. That is a huge difference. Oh shoot, are you kidding me? Em and Rose are having a social fight? Are you mad because of the broken engagement? Oh, Rose, that was mean. I guess she is still very bitter about the broken engagement. She laughed at Em's relationship status. What does that even, like, haha. You're single. You should have said yes to me. I was your best option. Uh, oh, guys, don't hurt each other, please. Oh, no. Well, they at least someone have melee skills. Yikes. Vicious, guys. Okay, go patch yourself up. Bruises. Oh, my goodness. Blitz is like, this is how I have to spend my morning. I am not impressed. Also, we have royal um, collectors, but I think I'm going to get them to just be dismissed because they're making a mess. Well, hey, would you look at that? At least M is making amends by tending to Rose herself. Thanks, M. Uh-oh, another raid, and Rose and Em are still hurt. Ugh, that sucks. Crappy timing. And, of course, they're attacking immediately. At least it's only one person. I'll look around the map. But it looks like only one person. Yeah, we're good. And he's all the way at the bottom, which is great. Let's get people ready. I think you're going to have to fight even though you're hurt, Em. Sorry. What kind of weapon are we looking at? A club. Okay, so we can just keep shooting and try to stay far away. Awesome, guys. Yes. Okay, time to move. Yes. Don't even let him near you. Okay, well done. Teamwork. What's gonna work? Teamwork. Mail 37. Legua Kinley. Darn. Um, yeah, no. Definitely not gonna work. 
God, emperor, animal personhood, supremacist. No, 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 this does not work for us. Uh, we are going to leave you here to die, Camel. I'm terribly sorry. But we will make you a nice grave nearby and we'll appreciate your beer and your money. Thank you for your sacrifice. Blitz, is your mood really such that you need that beer? Oh, you're just below 40. All right, go ahead. That's allowed. It's within our set parameters. M, we gotta stop hurting each other. Can we forgive each other? Nope, screw you, I'm going to eat. Come on, please. Let's be friends. Yuliana is out of food and silver, but she just had a meal, so we will keep an eye on her, and if she gets hungry, we will gift her a food. Gift her a meal. Gift her a food. Blitz is finishing up the last of our sewage outlet. Yes! Now the whole system is working. We have a functioning toilet and basin. Oh darn! Yuliana did not have a good time. Probably because she was cold. And awful barren. Uh, I was gonna say, maybe we should, um, you know, stop accepting visitors for a bit, but... Um, there's a lot of them. We need to make some more room. Do we still have time to accept that quest? Oh, thank goodness we do. Okay. Phew. Alright, let's give these... Actually, if M and Rose are in the hospital, we can give them this bed and this bed and this bed. And they can double up even if they really don't like it. But I don't think they need to. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's seven. They should all have their own bed now. Rose, I'm sorry, I know you are in pain, but we really need steel to build, you know, hot water tanks and jazz, so I need you to do a little bit of mining. Hey look, Camel is finally dead, and Lutz is going for a walk nearby, so he's gonna have the job of burying him. I'm sorry, Blitz. I forgot your announcement, and I misgendered you. They are going to go and bury Camel, and they are going for a walk. We've got a mad squirrel. Where is it? It's all the way over here. Alright, let's try to meet it so we can protect the guests. Okay, you got this, guys. Ooh, not so close. Stay back. No reason to get up close and personal. And blitz, too, for target practice. Oh, wow, good job, Lyric. You got him. Hot. That was so quick. Well done. We will take it and butcher it. Any meat is important. In the wild like this, it's going to be a long and cold winter. Speaking of guests, I'm going to prioritize their comfort. Have them go in these three rooms here and have all of our colonists lined up in the hospital. Read what? At least they're preparing for a while. Holy cow. Okay, just one dude. Where is he from? Yeah, the people we don't want. Alright. We'll leave you up there for a short time. I should close this gap so that we can have, you know, kind of protected area. I will do that while I am waiting. Uh-oh. I think this dude spotted our dog. Um, whoopsies. Let's, um, let's head around the corner and meet him. Em, how far are you hunting that otter? Oops! You're really far. Um, let's, uh, let's bring you back. And we will meet the guy with Lyric and hope that our dog can outrun him. 
Okay, cross your fingers and toes, everybody. Phew! He's not interested. All right, stand down for now. M, you come on back, though. Oh, they're beginning their assault. Uh, Rose, I guess you can keep hauling. M is handy, which is great. I've had the colonists confined to the base area just in case. And since we finished this wall, it's pretty clear he's either going to come this way or up around this way. Let's start heading this way for now. Sorry to wake you up, Lyric, but we need your help. And we're even going to bring Blitz in with his little bow and arrow. Okay, let's see which way this dude goes. Curdaton. Uh, hmm, he may be heading the other way. Or he may be trying to break through a wall or a door. What you doing, dude? Okay, he's going the other way. Change path, everybody. Oh, it might be because Rose is there. What you doing, Rose? You're unloading your inventory. You're watching the sunset. She chose this spot to watch the sunset. That's maybe not the greatest plan. Instead of the base area, let's put you inside. Have we set this area? We may need to get her safe and then get everyone else in position. Oh, M decided to go that way. <laughs> okay, you can like sneak up behind him, I guess. And Lyric and Blitz are gonna go around this way. Okay, the battle begins. Oh, he's using our thing as coverage. Damn, uh, where can we draw him? Let's try drawing him this direction. He'll have to step out from behind that. Yeah, let's get out of his range. Thank you. Okay. Let's see if he follows. And where's M? M is making her way. Okay, not too bad. Um, and also, please don't start, like, setting fires or, like, banging on my generator or my AC. Yeah, no, he's going to do that. Okay, that sucks. At least we've drawn him out from behind that. M is almost within range. She can just tuck behind this tiny tree. Okay, let's we'll see how this goes. E. And Rose should be able to respond to this fire from the inside. Come on, oh, Rose. Okay, we're attacking him on two fronts. This should work. Oh, he's headed this way. Tim, how far is your range? Very far. Oh, now he has the rocks as cover. <laughs> oh, jeez. This, this is not good. He's getting all these advantages. Not so great. Can we draw him a little farther? Get out of those rocks, dude. Too powerful there. Gonna get the fire. Um, how's the temp though? We don't want her burning. Oh, no, it's okay. Yeah, because it's cold and we haven't quite gotten our heat stuff figured out yet. Yes! <laughs> Great shot, M. Holy smokes, that was really effective. I want to see that on the log. Got him in the torso one second ago. Well done, M. How's your shooting? You've got 12. Yeah, you're an excellent marks person. Okay, awesome. All right, let's change all the things. Undraft everybody. Tell them they can go wherever they want. Looks like they are pigging out. Uh, let's make sure Rose has the fire under control. Okay, fire is gone. That's excellent. 
Okay, I decided it would be a good time to do a role change and make Lyric the leader of their ideology, the spirituality of all. Hopefully they'll have a nice ritual and it might give them a mood boost and cheer them up after the battle. And we're also going to say our farewells as we enjoy the nice music. Um, I hope everyone is having a great week. I hope you have a great weekend ahead. Thanks so much for watching. I'm sending queer mom hugs out to anyone who needs them. And thank you to our new subscribers. We've got some new folks on the channel, which really makes my day, my week. I always get super excited. Uh, you can just ask my teenager. I'm always like, I've got another subscriber. Makes me very happy. And if you feel like sharing this channel with anyone else who likes to game, who likes RimWorld, but who is really sick of the overabundance of young 20-year-old cishet men on the internet talking about games, uh, feel free to send them my way for something very different. hope this goes really well. Lyric is going to be their new leader. She will need a change of hat. I think they need a broad wrap hat to be the leader. But then she'll be able to do some interesting things for them and lead them in their new religion. Awesome, it was successful. Oh, they don't get a mood boost. Bummer. All right, we'll have to have a party sometime. Now that we have a leader, yeah, now that we have a leader, we can do some different kinds of parties. We can do speeches, celebrations, some of them are date specific. Yeah, that's very cool. All right, well, we'll let everyone recover from that raid, but I think things are going fairly well. I'm really happy we have our water system set up. Um, we just need to add some heat next episode. I hope you've enjoyed episode four. Since we've already said our farewells, I'll just say take care. Bye-bye.